Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock on a Wednesday and it's time for a Hidden Gems. Now, this is where I take a trick from the past. It could be from an online lecture. It could be a marketed effect. It could be uh, uh, in a book and I talk about why it's so amazing. I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. In my opinion, the Hidden Gems is the most important video series on this channel. And the reason is we stand on the shoulders of giants and uh, uh, there's tricks out there that are absolutely amazing that people have forgotten about because they're looking for the latest and greatest trick. And, you know, a lot of new people that come into magic, they don't look to the past, they look to the future because the newest tricks are being the ones that's hyped. They're the ones that people gravitate to. But you know what? There's some tricks out there that have been around for a long time um, that are incredible. And this is a perfect example. This is Screwed Up by Doc Eason. Now, I've been a big Doc Eason fan my entire life. I think Doc is incredible. And this trick is one of my favourites. Now, this is... It's not really an everyday carry, but I mean, I spent a long time just carrying the, the props around for this trick in my pocket. Uh, you can get this, you can learn this from Doc's DVD um, um, set, which is still available. I think you can even get it as a download. Uh, he's also got lecture books and lecture notes with it out. He even sold this for a time. I don't know if he still does, but he even sold it for a time as a standalone item with all the props. The props are actually easy to get hold of. You just go to a hardware store and you can get hold of them fairly easy. Um, but this is just a great trick. So it uses nuts and bolts. I'm not going to say any more. Let's have a look at a performance of this and then we'll talk about why it's so great. Here, three nuts. Well, that's nuts. Mm. Have a look at them, check them out, make sure they're okay. I think I'm one of the only people in the world with three nuts. My mom calls me special. Well, thank you, more. thank you for giggling. <laughs> well, that's one way I put it. I really appreciate <laughs> that. Now, the idea is you have to follow what's going on. Three nuts, two hands, one pad, watch very carefully. One nut goes in the hand, that's one. One nut goes in the hand, that's two. One nut goes in the pocket. How many nuts in the hand? Two. No, it's the three nut trick, Jack. I told you the name of the trick. It's the three nut trick. Did you not hear the name of the trick, Jack? I'll tell you what, we'll do it again. Two nuts, remember, just two. Two nuts go in the hand. One nut, this one here, goes in the pocket. Jack, how many nuts in the hand? It's two. Jack, we've gone through this. It's the three nut trick. You've got to remember the name of the trick, Jack. It's the three nut trick. I'll do it again. Look, one nut goes in the hand. Right. Two nuts go in the hand. Two nuts go in the hand. One nut goes in the pocket. Now, you know, you've seen it twice now. How many nuts in the hand? Three. How many in the hand? Three. Correct, but the problem is I screwed up. What um, the hell? Yeah, that's a screw. <laughs> or a bolt. Uh, not a screw, it's a bolt. But I'm going to try and do this one more time. The bolt goes in the hand. Two nuts go in the pocket. One last time. How many nuts in the hand? How many bolts in the hand? What's in the hand, Jack? Just the bolt. Just the bolt until I snap my fingers. Do you know what happens? What? The nuts go back into my hand. But when they do, they screw onto the bolts, and that is nuts. You can have a look at that. So you might recognise this as being like a two-in-the-hand, one-in-the-pocket style routine when, you know, the, the gadabout coins is a perfect example, or, uh, you know, balls, which is my routine with steel ball bearings, is, is another example. Uh, using bolts is kind of interesting. Everybody knows what bolts are. Uh, sorry, nuts. Everybody knows what nuts are. And the nice thing about this is... The use of the nuts really just drives home how impossible this is because the use of the nuts allows you to bring the bolts into play. And and you've got that incredible finale where the, the, the nuts screw back onto the bolts. Uh, it's not very difficult to do. If you can do gadabout coins, you can do this. In fact, it's easier to do than gadabout coins because you don't have to do a multiple click. Uh, clip vanish in order to vanish the coins at the end. I've always thought the vanish of the coins at the end is okay, but there's a better way of doing it, and this is a perfect example. Having the bolt appear out of nowhere is great because it comes at a point in the routine where they think they know what's going on. Oh, there's going to be four nuts, and then you end. Oh, or there's going to be three nuts, and then you end up with a bolt, and then you've got that wonderful moment where the, you know, the 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 uh, the nuts sorry the nuts go back onto the bolt while it's hand held in your hand i mean it's great you can even expand beyond this if you want to and you can then take the uh, the bolt at the end and make it go 20 times bigger and do some flip stick moves with it i mean it's open to interpretation but the whole point of this is it's a super commercial routine it's relatively easy to do yeah you have to do some palming but it's not difficult uh it packs small plays big takes up one pocket and there's so much you can do with it um also, as well as that, there's no table required. You can do it anytime, anywhere. You, I, I frequently, when I'm doing this in walk around conditions, I'll have people cup their hands together and I'll just do it with their cupped hands, which, which works really, really well. And um, yeah, I'm trying to think of something else to say about it other than it is by 
any definition of working routine. It's one of Ryland's favorite routines to perform. You can actually see videos on his YouTube channel of him doing it when he was like five years old. And it's why Doc is one of Ryland's favorite close-up magicians because Ryland really loved this. There was a time where all Ryland did with this trick over and over again. It's a great trick to do. It's very, very commercial. There's no angles. Uh, it's an instant reset. It's examinable at the end. It ticks all the boxes as a commercial routine. It's absolutely amazing. It's called Screwed Up and I highly recommend that you learn it. It is absolutely, definitely a hidden gem. So there you go, guys. That's another hidden gem in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow um, with a whole bunch more videos, so make sure you look out for them. Thanks once again for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV.